Alright, so you load up into Rocket League and you're just messing around in free play, just getting used to your your new air roll, which you just bound, basically just do doing whatever, just messing around, just messing around with the air roll. Having fun, you know? Nothing's going wrong, you're just flipping, just just having a good time. Oh wait. What was that? Many players actually do this. They mess around in free play for quite a long time and then they see this they accidentally do this a couple of times they realize what they're doing like how to do it and they just kind of they do this they go to their friends and they're like oh yeah i just discovered a new mechanic and then yeah no you didn't you just figured out how to stall oh, for people that don't know what this mechanic is or is just seeing this video saying what is a stall then this is a video for you i'm going to be going over what is a stall what it can be used for and how you guys can do it because right now it seems pretty simple but it's quite different with a lot of people's control settings so um yeah i'm gonna explain it in depth all right so first of all what is a stall a stall is basically when your car sort of gets confused between air rolling and flipping and instead of doing any type of flip it essentially just cancels all of your vertical momentum sort of just keeping you suspended in the air so let's say you jump up into the air and then you do a stall as you can tell you don't just like fall you sort of like it's like in those cartoons where cartoons run off a cliff they wait for a second and then they fall it's sort of like like that you just you wait for a second and then you fall i can show you by coming off the goal if you stall here and then you start falling if i go off the ceiling come off the ceiling you stall and then you fall so yeah, it cancels all your vertical momentum, which is actually quite useful for what I'm going to be showing you next. So yeah, like I just said, what is it used for? Stools have actually got so many uses, and people just don't know, like especially lower levels, they're just like, what is this? Haha, <laughs> this is fun, look at me, jump, haha, <laughs> psych. But no, stools actually have like an insane amount of uses. You could use it for like chaining flip resets together, You should, you could use it for like staying in the air waiting for your ball to come to you if you like let's say you are you're too low on a shot but you still want to hit the ball you could stall and wait for the ball to come to you see like that let's say that i ran out of boost and i wasn't actually on one boost what you can do if the ball goes in the air you can aerial and then stall to keep your momentum and then you can still get the aerial touch instead of just aerialing just for it just missing the ball and then just falling to the ground it can actually be used for things like chaining flip resets so let me just hit it up to the wall basically hit it to the ceiling come down off of the ceiling you stall to get underneath the ball and then you know you get the other reset and then score i'll have a clip of me doing that there because i'm getting decently consistent at it you can actually use it for things like fakes so let's say you're gonna somebody's let's say let's imagine there's a defender on blue i go for some sort of air dribble or like go for some sort of aerial the ball goes up but and then i stall and fake it i could then go for a bump or i could just confuse the opponent so he goes flying over my head that's a pretty fun way to use it people use it for whenever you come off the ceiling let's say if you're freestyling you come off the ceiling so you don't fall that much then jump, go back up to the ceiling and get another reset that's a really bad example i'm gonna try and do that good all right let's pretend i'm a freestyler i go up to the ceiling i then stall aerial back up to the ceiling get another reset and then score it takes quite a lot of boost and people usually do it in unlimited boost modes you could use it for things like predicting ground bounces so let's say I hit this to the ceiling, it goes way too high, bounces off the ceiling, I stay here and then I stall so I can keep my momentum and then hit it again. That's also another way. There are a handful of people in the world who can actually chain together like dozens of flip resets, which is actually nuts. Justify this with numbers, it would take a really long time. But see if we can explain why this makes sense in just one sentence. Okay. Next up, I'll be relating the idea of linear transformations covered so Wait. far to one of the areas of okay. linear... Wait, I'm in the I middle of a know. world record, Posse. Shut up! Equations. See you then. 
Yes! Let's go! You can use it for like, obviously for, the, for that thingy. I don't really know what to call it. I guess get a reset and install to keep yourself and the ball up. I guess that's one way of doing it. But yeah, there are just a handful of ways and um, now you know how useful it is. Now you can... Now I'm going to show you guys how you can actually do the stall. So stalling is actually quite easy. So stalling is actually quite easy. It's probably one of the more simpler, like hard to. It looks hard to do, but when you get down to it, it's quite easy to do. Um, all you have to do is. It depends on your control scheme or like what arrow you use. You need to have either arrow left or arrow right bound. That's that's basically all you need to have, and you need to be able to steer left and right. So, all you have to do, if you've got arrow left bound, like I do, you need to hold down arrow left, and then steer to the right, and then press jump. So my arrow left, it's really weird, don't judge me, but it's bound to my left stick pushed in, so whenever I hold down left stick pushed in, I arrow to the left, and obviously, you know, I do this, which is cool. And obviously if you have arrow right, let me just like, let me change my change it to arrow right as you can tell it's the same thing my, my r3 is also look behind me but yes yeah, the same thing so basically all you have to do if you've got arrow left is arrow left and then steer to the right so i'm arrow rolling left and holding on arrow left steering to the right as you can see and then you'll do a tornado spin which is actually one of my previous tutorials and then you just jump and then the car basically doesn't know if it should air roll left or flip so it kind of does both and just gets confused and cancels your vertical momentum so you just you get suspended in the air while gravity kind of tries to catch up i'll try and show this as best as possible with um air roll right so I don't know how to properly do this, so I just do this, and then it's hard for me because I don't fully know how to do this. Arrow right, steer left. Yeah, there we go. I am stalling the other way. So yeah, hold on arrow right and then steer left if you've got arrow right, or hold on arrow left and steer right, and you will be able to do it. I want to actually see what what stalling's like with this because like I haven't tried it before. Maybe it's just completely nutty. Nope, alright, I'm going back. Sometimes people have issues stalling where they just flip instead of stall, as you can see. I'm doing exactly what it is, but I'm just not stalling whatsoever. What you need to do is you need to. Oh, I did it there. You need to actually up your controller dead zone. So I play on 0.25, and um, upping your controller dead zone, it. Well, as you can see at the bottom, it's, uh, it controls how far your joystick must move from the center to affect steering, neck, and control. So you can still, like. You can still, like, do that and stuff. But you just. There's a certain point where you start stalling instead of, um. Instead of flipping. And I think it's, yeah, it's just about here for me. So it's not like touching the stick, it's slightly less than touching the stick. But yeah, and obviously, the more. The more your dead zone is up, the less you'll have to move your stick. So, like, I can just do that. And I, c I can do that and stall now, I think. So I can do that and stall now instead of like that or that. But the one problem with that is that you have to move your left stick quite far to actually steer. Look at how far my left stick is moving. And I'm not steering. It's still not going. And only here it just starts to slightly move. So with that you're going to have to tr sort of try and find a balance. The balance for me is 0.25. Because I can still like steer and stall. And um... Yeah, that is actually pretty much it. That is how you guys can stall. I will leave links to like a couple of videos of stalling and stuff in the description in case you guys just want to look at some better examples than my trashy like champ gameplay. I mean, I'm GC and Rumble, so don't don't bully me too much. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.